Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Population 80,000, and you can bet that most of them are in the stadium today. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Number two, back deep to return. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. What a collision! Alabama's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage, and, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Harris on the right side gets to about the 47 yard line it's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up it's second and 11 ball on their own 47 gets it he's in space and down he goes at the 49-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Roger, Roger. Hey, check my check They'll my spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he's hit immediately. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two were playing catch out there. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he hits him hard at the 30-yard line. Jones gets six yards after taking it himself. rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he throws it away. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. Now we see he's back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Looks middle, got his back. And they make the stop at the 37. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. 
that makes it second and ten. He steps up right around the 40. It's third down and seven yards to go. All on their own 40. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. It's a big-time effort sack by the defensive end. I want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield. The end never gave up on the play, but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football, it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack. Smith, the return man. Tackle made at the 29. Return for a gain of three yards. We're about set to start things up again. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 17, the intended receiver on the play. Second and 10. Ball on the 29. Quick pass. Tackle at the 35 yard line. quarterbacks on third down to just kind of see where they are as far as their psyche and, and their, their approach to the game. This is another big third down. He was able to sit back, evaluate the defense, had just enough time to be able to make the throw. They pick up the first down and get a new set of downs. That's a great tackle. The 39-yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. He tackles him for a loss. Call the loss of four yards on the play. That brings up third and 14. Hey, we got to try that, try that. Four down, four down. Watch 22. He's coming up the edge. Watch him up the edge. Hey, check my five. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Fourth and 14. Scott is waiting for the snap. Whoa, he just took a licking. Alabama's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First and ten. Ball on their own 46. Gives it off. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Gain of two yards. That brings up second and nine. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Nice job of picking up the Mike linebacker blitz and hitting his man for the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Catches it, and that's all. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Second and six. And 
that'll bring him down behind the line. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 33. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. This is the ninth play of this drive. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. So they don't pick up a first down here on third down, setting up this fourth down. Now, a smart decision here, in my opinion, by a coach, is to get points. You don't want to take too many calculated risks here where you're trying to go for it all the time on fourth down. Get the points while you can. And he just drilled it from long range. Michigan State ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. They'll bring him down at the 27. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. For a gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. From their own 37-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six on the play. That brings up second and five. after a decent pickup and a nice run by the tailback not a lot of razzle dazzle here but it gets the job done and picks up the first down it's first and ten ball on the 48 brought down at the 43 yard line Simmons brings him down at the 43 yard line that brings up second and one Nice run, and he's brought down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Four down, four down, four down. 
He scrambles. Slides down to the ground. So at the end of one, 3-3 three, three time. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. Well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive. The defense, you can look at them. Their hands are on their knees, hands are on their hips. They're looking tired. This offense right now has this defense exactly where they want it. Play action pass, touchdown! If the linebacker had stayed home, that play may not have worked. But the run fake was perfect, and they get the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. So a 13-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Alabama is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. release tight end incomplete well that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part and the bad news is there was no defender around if the pass was anywhere near him it could have gone for a big play so it's second and ten ball on their own 25 gets it out to his receiver in a hurry he's tackled at about the 27 yard line The crowd really making it difficult. Throws out to the back end. He can't hold on to it. Smith back deep to return. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And down he goes at the 41. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Alabama up seven points. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. We'll give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 39. 87's getting the ball, 87's getting the ball. Alert, predator, predator. Motion, motion. Makes it out to about the 50. it to the 41. 
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. On the ground, he won't get back to the line. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. He goes out of bounds around the 40 yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. Third down again. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he's tackled at the 34. That's a game of 14 yards on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. From the 49-yard line. First down. Thorn on play action. Now he's going to run and watch out. Diving for extra yardage. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. I got you, son. I got you, son. My game, my game. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Clarkson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. down now and they need to get it to the 22. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And they make the stop around the 16-yard line. At the 16-yard line. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Three down, three down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Here we go. Hayward takes the give. And they got him for a loss. That's a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 19. At about the 21. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Mike 
zips it out to the right. He's got it, touchdown. football team has to consistently be able to capitalize when they're in the red zone. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 81-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Michigan State is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tackle made right around the 28-yard line. A gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. And down he goes at the 36-yard line. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Here's the halfback on the screen. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. From their own 39-yard line, it's third down. Setting up blockers or running backs, got it on the screen. He steps out around the 49-yard line. First down. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They try the right side. Makes it to the 34. This is the eighth play of this drive. the 36. That is a loss of two yards. Bring up second and 12. Right, right, right. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 36-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 33. That's good for a game. Tenth play of the drive. He throws a dart to the left, and they couldn't hook up on that one. Williams, the intended receiver on the play. So it's fourth down. Fourth so down. the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Alabama is looking to go up by three. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Five wide. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. And what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy has been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Gain of five yards. That'll make it third and five. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Just throws this one away. Smith is back deep to return the punt. Smith takes it to 28, and he just got drilled. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Alabama has a three-point lead. And he's going to come up with a sack. That is a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 34-yard line and a pickup of about seven. Hey, they picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and does. In the air, it's intercepted. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. That's the end of the first half, and this game's getting interesting. 13-10, Alabama. All right, Reese and David. Welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out at midfield. Game of 25 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 50. Three down, three down. Q26, Q26. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Think about the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. He guns it. And he can't make the catch. Mosley was the intent. 
intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He goes downtown. In and out of his hands. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Alabama is up by three. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10 from their own 20-yard line. Second down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it third and seven. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. He's in trouble. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide, and he has a huge game. Yeah, I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Slings it. Brought down around the 48-yard line. seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Four down, four down. Hey, check back 45. Check back 45. Makes the grab past the marker. Alabama is up a field goal. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. Here's the eighth play of the series. Bring him down around the 19 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 19 yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled right around the 18 yard line. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he tackles him hard at the 17-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 49-yard line. Call it a game of 24 yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Hayward, left side. Tackle at about the 49. field and they make the stop at about the 43 yard line that's a gain of eight on the play that makes it they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down and this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here toss right and he'll lose yards This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Michigan State's not going to back down from anybody, Irby, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Alabama with a six-point lead. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on the 18 yard line. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 28. Ground from the tackle at the 28 yard line. That'll bring up third and two. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From their own 37-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 37. No game. That makes it second and 10. Makes it out to about the 46. Third down again. Fakes to the back. Defense coming and the ball comes out. Recovered by the offense. Alabama up six. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. 
But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That was a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 35-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. That'll bring up third and six. The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. Quick out to his receiver. There's a very impressive open field tackle. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He takes it in at the 14. Brought down at the 24. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Alabama is up by six. Gets out to around the 48. yard line. It's first down. Harris takes a handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. So at the end of three, the Crimson Tide in front, 16-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Makes the catch and look out. You've got to wonder here early in the fourth quarter if that stop and a play like that might be the momentum swing this team needs to win it. Alabama with a six point lead. Nice run up the middle. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Now he's on the move. That makes four sacks today. Well, this speed is difficult to defend because you have to try to keep them off balance so they can't use their quickness. It's 
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Go. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Lost behind the line. No gain. That makes it fourth and four. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. is his tight end brought down around the 46 yard line first down first and 10 ball on the 46 He wants it all. Almost intercepted. Number eight was the intended receiver on the way. It's third down and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. Caught first down and he's out of bounds. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the twenty six. Looks to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown. That was some kind of catch and run by the halfback. Well, that was a mismatch that the offense took advantage of. He completely burned the defender for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice six-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And, Brad, you're going to move the ball well when you're able to execute the pass game like that. Those big plays eventually are going to lead you to touchdowns. So the score now, 19-17. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Alabama with a two-point advantage. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Fires out to his wideout. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big plays. From their own 44-yard line, 
Second down. Now he's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. Well, this is the kind of play you want to see if you're a defensive player because not only is it a negative play, but this can really impact and affect the emotion of the game. Just looking down and looking at the energy on the field and even on the sidelines, you can see that the defense is fired up after that play. Scott is going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's scrambling. Thorne gains around three yards on the scramble. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it 37. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. Smith is back awaiting the punt. Smith fields it at the 35, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. He showed a good burst there. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Alabama is up two. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's tackled around the 43 yard line. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 41 yard line. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He gets hit out of bounds. The 37-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it third and five. Hey, check by 45. Check by 45. And it's caught. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. From the 24-yard line. First down. First down. Check by 21. Mike 21. And he's going to be sacked. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Second and 13. So it's second down and 13 yards to go following that quarterback sack. Less than three minutes in the game. Go. 
And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Michigan State will take their first time out of the half. gets rid of it good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play so it's fourth down so the kicking team is on the field they'll try for three it's up and he got it and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff nice kick plenty of distance And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Spartans have got to be fired up how this game is going. they still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they can put six points up on the board. He scrambled. The ball is loose. They fall on it. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. Here comes the pressure. Aaron and out long. It's the sophomore that's got it. To the 10. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Oh, what a huge touchdown pass that is. So they'll go for two here and try to go up by a field goal. Defense in their short yardage package. He's got it for two. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Michigan State 25, Alabama 22. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Alabama's staff right now has got to be thinking what the defense is looking at and what they're going to be doing. Well, the defense is going to be looking at this running back. They're going to put everybody that they can to be able to stop him and not allow him to make a, a big play. That means the offense is going to have to be able to find somebody else maybe on this drive ready to step up and maybe become the hero to be able to win this game. He tries to buy some time. Runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 41. Strike to the receiver. Tackle right around the 46 yard line. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He guns it left side. This one will fall incomplete. Number eight, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Inside 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down around the 19-yard line. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 19. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. We have less than a minute to go. Fires it out. He's tackled in the open field. Third down. And a quick throw. Touchdown, and that's going to give him the lead. Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? Splits the uprights with the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. It was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Zips it to the back. Tackle made around the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Down right around the 38 yard line. First down. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That makes it second and six. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 42-yard line, third down. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. And, Herbie, we got a guy down after that play. 